Praise the Lord. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for whoever is watching, may you be in control of this YouTube channel, Father. May you speak through me when I speak, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you. Hi guys, I have a message for... I'm not going to say who you are. I promise you guys, I'm not going to say your name. Honestly, yes, God speaks to me. He gives me messages and I promise to deliver every message that I'm supposed to deliver. But I will not mention your name. I will not. I'm sorry. I don't think I can. Unless it's something urgent that I need to tell you. I might have to kind of mention some details about you. Or I will find a way to... To locate you so I can deliver the message to you but I cannot mention your name amen because although God speaks to me I still need to respect your privacy because people are watching so I have to be careful I know that but do share this video because this message it could be for your family it could be for your friend it could be for your neighbor so please do share. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, this message, it's about depression. It's about depression. You know, there's a lot of things that you wrote down and you want God to do for you, but you haven't seen any of them happening like you ha you have a list of things that you wrote down and i can see you asking god like god but you haven't done this you haven't done this you haven't done this when are you gonna remember me when i'm sad as i am saying this because it's it's upsetting i'm sorry on your behalf i i can see you've been going through a lot it's it's so so painful oh it's, it's it's really hard to watch it's hard to see it's hard to to imagine what you've been going through is too much and i pray for you in the name of jesus i pray things get better for you in the name of jesus i pray that jesus fights for you and your family in the name of jesus in jesus name amen thank you I want to give you a Bible, a Bible verse first before I give you the message, amen? Excuse me. I want you to go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. It says, And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord, your God, being careful to do all his commandments, that I command you today the Lord your God will send, send, send set you high above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God thank you Jesus I pray that you obey the voice of God. I pray that you follow God's commandments. I pray that his blessings shall come upon you. I pray that you obey God's voice. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that you follow this Bible verse. I want you to please pray and fast. Go on Deuteronomy chapter 28 from 28 chapter 28 from 1 to 4. Amen. Please read this message from God. I see you have been going through a lot. I see you've been very depressed. 
Oh, Rika, Papa, Bashaba. I see things are very hard for you. It came to a point where you just wanted to run away. Oh, God. Because everyone around you betrayed you. And you didn't know who to turn to. Oh, Rika, Shara, Baba. God, forgive your servant. Forgive your servant in the name of Jesus. What you did, this is how I want you to know that it's you. When you were depressed, going through a lot, facing challenges, and to the point where you wanted to give up on life, what you did, it is not the right path to go when you need help, when you're uh, depressed, when you're sad. You should never do that again. You went to clubs. You went and smoked. Sexual activities were involved as well. Jesus, forgive your servant. Jesus, forgive your servant in the name of Jesus. I see you are very depressed. You wanted to give up on life. But these are not the solution to your problem. Club, sexual activities, complaining too much, crying in your bed too much. It is not the solution to your problem. I tell you, sexual activities is not the solution to your problem. Oh, Rika Sharababa. Forgive your servant, God. The Bible, God is telling you what to do right now. If you want God to activate your blessings. You've been asking God. Yes. You have been giving, offering, helping people. Yes, you've been doing all that. But you are still living in the world. You're not doing what God wants you to do. You're still going out there doing whatever pleases the devil. And you forget to do what pleases God only. You forgot to follow the Ten Commandments. Oh God. If you're listening, I ask you to please read this Bible verse. Deuteronomy, I repeat, Deuteronomy 28 from 1 to 4. Read it in the name of Jesus. And from there you find a solution. From there you will find a solution. Obey God. Follow Jesus. Let me give you an example. For me, when I was young, I was yeah, young, obviously. I didn't know any. I, I mean, I used to go to church, but I didn't know much about God. So, what I did, I started praying and fasting. And what I personally did, first I asked God, I said, God, change me to be who you want me to be. And then God changed me. Amen. After God changed me, I had to tell myself personally to stop sinning. I had to tell myself personally. And, and do you know what made me stop sinning? The Bible. The Bible. Um, and also the promises of God upon my life. The truth is, we all have promises upon our lives. We are all blessed. If you're watching, I want you to know you are blessed. Honestly, God loves each and every one of us. We are all blessed. And for me, when it comes to me, well, when, how, the reason why I was able to even repent, change my ways and do what God have called me to do is because the Holy Spirit told me, Odira, you need to repent, do what God have called you to do, change your ways and follow God's commandments and obey Jesus. And all that you are looking for, it will, it will be added onto you. Good health. Blessings. Everything you want God to do for you. He'll do it for you. Food. God will do it for you. Transport. God will provide. Family. God will provide. Your wife you're looking for. Your husband you're looking for. God will provide for you. 
but listen to the Holy Spirit. Do not, do not sin. Do not commit adultery. The Ten Commandments, guys, follow it. But you need to tell your head that you have to stop sinning. You have to also be willing to want to change in order for God to activate your blessings. We are all blessed. The only way for our blessing to be activated to us is to stop sin. Is to follow God's commandments. That is the only way. And to me, it was easy. Let me be honest. At first, it was hard. But when I realized that the only way God will activate my blessings and bless me is by stopping to sin. That's when I stopped. I was like, yo, should I let the devil keep taking my blessings or should I claim it back? So I said, no, sin, get out. I said, sin, depart, depart from me in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you sin in the name of Jesus. And I am going to follow Jesus and do what he has called me to do. I am going to follow God and follow his commandments. And obey his voice in the name of Jesus. I, that's, that's what you should be saying. You should be saying, I am going to stop sin. Because sin, um, sin feeds on your blessings. Sin would steal your blessings. That's what sin does. Sin destroys you. You are great. Everybody is great. Everybody is destined for greatness. You are all blessed. We are all blessed. We are all supposed to be happy. We are all supposed to be rich. We are all supposed to have the great life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God loves each and every one of you. Stop letting the devil feed on your blessings. Sin is how the devil feeds on you. It steals your blessings. It steals your joy. Your joy. Oh, Rika Sharaba. Jesus, I pray that you locate them in the name of Jesus. Locate your people in the name of Jesus. So they can stop sin. Because sin feeds on the blessings. Jesus, protect your people. Amen. May God protect you. May God protect your blessings. May Jesus activate your blessings. May he show you the way for your blessings to be activated. Amen. Trust in God. Don't trust in humans. They will always disappoint you. Always. I'm like, don't, I, I, honestly, don't. Yes, love your people. God will always use them. But trust in Jesus. Trust in God. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I know and I see it. You are depressed. Things are going horrible for you. Step one. Deliverance. Deliverance. Step two. Repent. Step three. Change completely and be who God have called you to be. Step four. Forgive everyone. Step five. Welcome the Holy Spirit in you. Amen. Follow these steps. I know you're depressed. I know life is hard. But I want you to know, life is not hard. On your side, life is hard. But I want you to know, Life is not hard. We humans make it hard by sinning. Don't you know that the devil is not allowed to enter this here? The devil is not allowed though. He's not. Because we are covered in the name of Jesus. The devil is not allowed to come here. But they are, they, the only way they are able to access here is because of sin. The only way the devil is able to access your destiny and future and destroy things about you. Sin. So... Why should you sin? Why should you sin? And let the devil take your blessings. May. Nah. Well, when he came to me, I was like, nah. Sin. Get away from me. I am not going to sin. Because the devil. I don't want to give my blessings to the devil. My blessings belong to me. 
It belongs to me, oh. It does not belong to the devil. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. So I pray for you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. All your blessings belong to you in the name of Jesus. Any demon that's trying to feed on your blessings, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We pray for protection upon your blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I pray for you. Honestly, things will get better. I want you to know that, yes, today, right now, things might be hard right now. But when you listen to the voice of God, when you follow his commandments, when you do what he has called you to do, when you change and do, oh, Rika Sharmaba. When you listen to God, things will change. Things will change. How? It doesn't matter how. God knows how. You just need to follow his commandments and he will make a way. You know? It might seem like, oh, how is, gonna, gonna, how is God going to help me? How will things change? But I want you to know that God will help you. Jesus loves you so much. Amen. You going out, clubbing, taking drugs, um, sexual things, stuff like that. It's not going to make things better for you. It will make things worse. What you should do, you should read the Bible, pray. Seek the kingdom of God and God will help you. Amen. I know a lot of you guys. I know. I know a lot of you guys. <sighs> it's not your fault. People, a lot of people don't know God. And the only things you know is that when you're sad, when you're depressed, you should go take shisha. You should go clubs. You should do some sexual activities. That's all you know that when you're sad, when you're depressed, when you're angry, you should go do that. No. But when you're sad and depressed and angry, know that the devil is attacking you for a reason. When things are going horrible for you, yo, the devil is attacking you for a reason, oh. Pray. Get the Bible and pray, oh. Hey. Anyways, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Things will get better. I love you, but he loves you more. Amen. Thank you for watching. Trust in God. Trust him. He will listen to you. Pray. He will listen to you. He loves you. He loves you. God loves his people and he will help you. So trust in him. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.